Hello everybody! Today we're going to be milling our opponents in Historic Brawl. Our deck plan is very straightforward. We've got the normal mill plan with a whole suite of all the mill cards, as well as the combo wins with Bruvok. That shows up with Fleet Swallower milling half of our opponent's deck and Bruvok getting the other half. We also have Mindbreaker, Cut Your Losses, and the kicker on Maddening Cacophony. In addition to that, we're running a full suite of counter magic and disruption. So we have our counter spells, we have our memory lapses, and we can also unsummon or fading hope creatures to keep them off the battlefield. Aside from that, over in the mana base, we've got scavenger grounds to exile our opponent's graveyard just in case there's something bad that we end up putting in there. We have reliquary tower, so that way we don't have to worry about our hand. We've got Plaza of Heroes to protect Bruvok. Atawara, another good bounce spell. Okay, here we have another land to get in that last little bit of mill. We have Hall of Storm Giants if we need to swing in to get lethal that way, as well as Castle to scry through our library. Now before we go ahead and hit the ladder, I just want to let you know we've got a special surprise, so stay tuned till the end of the video. But let's go ahead and see how this does. All right, first game into Nico Bolas. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and keep this starting hand. No mill, but we have plenty of counter magic. Start with the Hall of the Storm Giants. Okay, I start with a tap land. Go ahead and play another land for turn. So I'm holding up counter spells. Let's just slow them down. Then we'll get Bruvok out onto the battlefield. Okay, they play the Mind Stone. Be able to hold up a counter spell next turn. Swing in for one. Pass the turn. If he doesn't play anything we need to counter, we can always cast Thirst for Discovery. No need to counter that. Alright, let's go ahead and cast this. Discard a basic land. River's Rebuke is a great draw for us. Let's play the tower. No attacks. Signet we're fine with. Okay. The spell pierce. Back to my turn. Alright, we've got a Thought Collapse. Go ahead, play a land. Pass the turn. I'm gonna wait for him to play something more annoying before we River's Review. Alright, that's not bad. We'll go ahead, let him play that. Okay. We will counter that. Mill six. Let's see, do we care about that? I don't think we do. Right, there's a land, pass the turn. Not a fantastic creature for him to steal. Sure. Go ahead and counter that one. It's gonna also make Tail's End cheaper for us. Yep. Nice. Nice. 
Maddening Cacophony with the kicker. And there we go. No attacks. End the turn. And we got it. Alright, so here we are playing into an enchantment deck. Uh, looking at our opening hand, this is pretty good to me. We can go ahead and keep this. They're playing with Sithis, so I'd expect a bunch of single target removal enchantments. That's going to be a little bit of a problem for Bruvok. Alright, starts with a bunch of lands. Next turn, we'll play the Drowned Secrets. Yep, Sithis hits in for one. Alright, we're going to start chipping away each time we cast a blue spell. We're going to keep Bruvok in our command zone, where we don't actually want him on the battlefield to be removed. It's fine, that'll still be ramp for us. Okay, let's play a scribe. This will be a good blocker for us. We get also still holding up a counter spell. Alright. He's gonna start growing his creatures pretty fast. Block the two damage. Alright. Play out a Plaza Heroes. And we'll go ahead and cast Jace here. Have them mill. Let's try this. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Let's play this out as another blocker. Alright, cut your losses. Looks pretty good to me. So what we're looking to do here... In two turns, we'll be able to play Cut Your Losses, so this next turn, we're going to play Bruvok and hold up Tail's End to keep him on the battlefield. We may choose to block here to keep our Jace alive, if they swing at Jace. Alright, borrowed time. That's fine. Fortunately, I won't have to remember this. Alright. We'll still block the two here. And we can block one. No need to take damage. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and play Bruvok. Holding up Tail's End. Next turn we have Cut Your Losses. All right, I'm fine with this. Again, we're not going to spend our counter spell unless it's to protect Bruvok. Okay, he swings for nine. Uh, we're just going to let that through. Okay, go ahead and draw. We'll let them have a treasure token. Cut your losses. They have one card now. No attacks. All we have to do is survive this next turn. We lost the game of odd or even. Yeah, looks like we got it. Very nice. Okay, so here we are playing into Corvold. We have Maddening Cacophony in hand, and we have a bunch of counter magic. A little bit light on the lands, but I feel okay keeping this. We've got Folio to help us draw cards if we need to. This just might be a little bit of a slower game. 
Okay, opponent starts with the Swamp. Thoughtseize is going to take the Madden and Cacophony. Should be a no-brainer. Well, maybe he's scared of the- okay, scared of the spell pierce, that's fine. Don't have any issues there. Next turn we'll play the folio. Okay, here's the folio. We do really want to be hitting our land drops, that's why we played this this turn. Okay, arcane signet, that's fine. No land, so we're gonna draw a card. Still no land. So look, he's off to a slow start as well. Okay, we did get the land. I'm gonna start by playing the crab. Land drop. Mill him for three. And we'll just pass the turn here. We've got a bunch of options. We've got Negate, we have a Borrower. We can Annul. And then we also have Folio to draw another card. I do really want to be drawing so we can hit our land drops. Okay. End of turn. Let's go ahead and draw. And there's our land. Okay, play land for turn. Okay, we can pass here. We have Deluge if they do nothing. This will be better than letting our opponent draw. Okay, there's a Chatterfang. Do we care about that? I don't think so. Go ahead and let that resolve. Yep, there's a tap treasure token, makes a squirrel. Yep. Plus one, plus one counter. Sure, that's fine. He'll get in for two. Also fine. Okay. Play out the deluge. Alright, let's see what to do here. Let's go Hall, and let's go, let's grab Sensor here. Move to my turn. Play the Hall tapped. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn here. If we had an untapped land in hand, I would have been fine playing out Bruvok and holding up a counter spell to protect him. Looks like we're about two turns out from being able to cast the Cacophony with its kicker. Okay. Yep, making a whole bunch of squirrels. This is still fine. Okay. Seven damage this turn. I'm just going to Folio for two. This is going to give me the most options for next next turn. Alright. And there's some lands. Okay. Going to play out Bruvok. They have nine damage on the board currently. And the turn. What we're looking to do here is stay alive and protect Bruvok. Alright, so we can't let that happen. Let's go ahead and negate that. Hold up a null. We do have it next turn if Bruvok stays alive.
Okay, hell minus three and kill the Brewbog. You got a good head on those shoulders. For now. Yep, move him to the command zone. I've had enough of you. Okay, let's just cycle this. Okay, pass. Move to my turn. And it doesn't look like uh, we're going to be able to get out of this. Let's see. Only thing we could do is exile a bunch of their cards. See how far we get. Not enough. Alright, well. <laughs> that's gonna be a good game. Alright, so we're playing this game into Ashiok. Let's see, this looks like a good starting hand to me. We have a couple of cards that are gonna give us incremental value. We'll go ahead and keep. We also have a counter spell in hand. All right. Turn two, we'll play the Mind Stone. That'll help accelerate us. Okay. Foretells a card. Play Mind Stone. We've got a couple of options next turn. I think we're going to go ahead and play the Tutelage. See if he counters it. And then we'll be able to hold up Swan Song as well, because we have four mana. Evolving Wilds? Evolving Wilds is not a good land. This is my, my hot take, personal take. Do not run Evolving Wilds. Pick a basic land instead. It'll be better. Especially in a two-colored deck. Okay. Go ahead and play out the Tutelage. We'll discard Mindbreaker here. Alright. He gets a 2 2. We put Mindbreaker in our graveyard. Now, this has us really close to the win. Okay, there's a Rusko. Now, fingers crossed for a two-mana counterspell here. We're going to want to protect Bruvok and be able to play him this turn so we can win next turn. Okay. No counterspell. And he can... Alright. We're going to go ahead and play the Realm Breaker. And then just activate its ability. Go to Shipwreck March. This is going to accelerate us even more. They play the Ashok, we can Ripper's Rebuke if we have to. But we still have some time. Okay. Alright. Let's start with the Invasion Tree. Get a land. Uh, let's go grab an island. And then play the folio. Can activate the folio. Okay, yep. Goes up to seven. This is fine. Next turn we have Rivers Rebuke. Gonna be a high value Rivers Rebuke. Yep, very high value here. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and have each of us draw a card. 
Okay, Tails End. That's really good for us. Yep, here's his counter. Opponent's gonna mill some. Okay. Let's put everything back in his hand. Alright. And then we're just gonna go ahead and wait here. We have a counter spell if they play anything that's gonna be too annoying for us. Okay. Rusko, I think we're just gonna counter that. Leave him on one mana. I don't think he has a one mana counter spell. Next turn we'll play Bruvok. Alright, he tapped out. This is fantastic. Here's Bruvok. Unearth. Swing. There goes his library. Let's just end with one more land. Take an island. Alright! Good game! Alright, we're playing into Yarrick. Lots of ETB effects. This hand is very funny. We're gonna keep it just because of that. Lots of extra turns for us. Alright, we got a turn two crab. This is also great. Yep, start with a signet. Crab. Next turn we can foretell this. See if he gets rid of the crab. Why would anyone be afraid of this crab? Look at him, he's just a little crab. Anyway, our opponent's thinking about what to do. Plays another forest. Alright, he does get rid of the crab. Well, unfortunately for him, we've got another crab. Mill a counter spell there. Pretty happy about that. Next turn, we've got Jace. Okay, Cavalier. Alright. Mill them for three. We will play the Jace here. Okay, no attacks. Hitting Panharmonicon is really good here. We'll block for the Jace, because we have a Time Warp in hand, so we can get two more activations. Alright, well, can't do that anymore. That's fine, though. Yep. So there goes the Jace. Let's go ahead and just play the Hall of the Storm Giants. Boy, we'll have an untapped land. We'll be able to take a bunch of turns in a row after this. Okay, mine's down. Swings out. Let's see. I think he's thinking about whether or not he wants to cast Yark. If he does, we'll counter it. If not, we'll be able to cycle this and see a better card for one of our turns. 
Yep, that's fine. Can't do anything about that. Yep. Cycle. Okay, move to my turn. Start with a time warp. Okay. River's Rebuke is really good. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got Epiphany next turn. Yep. Cavalier. Okay. Ulamog in the graveyard. Moving on to my turn. Let's take an extra turn. Fleet Swallower. He'll be able to kill it. But he doesn't. Yep. We don't die. Okay. Four poison counters down to three. We're gonna go ahead and play Brewbox. Move to combat, swing out. All right. I don't think he could do anything. Okay, no blocks. Life is a resource. Let's go. Good game. All right, so we're playing into Atraxa here. As far as an opening hand's concerned, this looks pretty good to me. Right? It's like opponent takes a mulligan. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Ruin Crab. It's gonna open us up to being able to hold a counterspell if we draw it for turn two. Okay, opponent starts with a tap land. Let's go ahead and play the Scavenger Grounds. No attacks. We hit a Farewell and an Oracle there. Two great hits. again. Let's go ahead and play the Psychic Corrosion. Alright, now we're just building up small sources of mill. Hit a Murderous Rider and Swords there. This is great. Gonna help us protect Ruvok when we decide to play him. Opponent has access to 4 mana. Next turn, I think we're gonna go ahead and play the Jace. Let's see what they find. We're not concerned about this. We have a counterspell for whatever they find. Honestly, we're hoping to see a sort of expensive spell here. I'd love to see our opponents tap out and then counter that spell. We might save the Jace, play Bruvok, hold up counterspell. All right, and grab Wash away. That's fine by me. Okay, we'll some more. Play the Jace. We'll play it out for its full cost. I 
Galaxian's plans are already in right. the Hey, Mel. No secret escapes my grasp. Get a fleet swallower. Mill some more. Alright, 17. So next turn we'll be able to draw three off the Jace. If they play a creature, we can always bounce it. Five mana on our opponent's side. All right, they play Tasha. Huh. I've outwitted too many witch hunters just to lose to you. That's Don't fine. Try anything cheeky now. Okay, play our land. Let's draw some cards. We can improve. On your idea. Yep, mill some more. We'll play a Realm Breaker. And now we're gonna pass the turn. We have Winds of Rebuke. We can also activate Realm Breaker. We're, we even have counter spells as well. Okay, plus on the Tasha. Tasha. Don't. Come any closer. We might want to bounce the Tasha next turn so she can't ultimate. But we'll see. I'm perfectly fine with that. Channel beside you. Landfall trigger. All right, those are some more good hits. Opponents down to 53 cards. Okay. Activate Realm Breaker. Let's see, Hall of the Storm Giants, that's a good one for us. Landfall, mill them some more. Let's go ahead and drop a land. We're gonna return the Tasha to their hand. Okay. Miscast. Let's plus on the Jace. Then I'm gonna go ahead and play the Brewbok here. No attacks. Pass the turn. We can activate Realm Breaker, get some extra mill off the crab. We've also got Swan Song. We're gonna try and protect Brewbok this turn. Alright, they play Atraxa. That's fine. See what they're looking at. They've got a couple of good spells to grab. All right. Fire mind vessel, a counter spell, casualties of war. Right. Activate realm breaker. Mill them for six. Let's get tower. Landfall. Mill them for another six. Down at 26 cards. Okay. Let's mill them for eight. 18. Let's see. Do you want to do another six here? Yeah, let's go ahead, activate Realm Breaker. Six, let's take a Command Tower. Landfall, another six. Down to the last six. Minus on Jace. Your victory. No secret escapes my grasp. Okay, we'll play a land. 
And now we're holding up a counterspell just in case they have any way of reshuffling. It's like we got it. Okay, so here we are playing into Urbrask. Let's see, for a starting hand, we're gonna go ahead and take a mulligan. This looks a little bit better for us. We'll go ahead and keep. Alright, opponent starts with a mountain. Play an island, holding up a miscast. Alright, infantry's good. We're not gonna worry about holding up counterspell. He can't cast Urbrask this turn. We'll play Cold Steel on blue. Give us more access to mana. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and play the Jawari Ruins this turn. Play them tapped. We have other untapped lands, but we only need to hold up two blue for the counterspell. We're holding up both counterspell and miscast, and we can cast Thirst for Discovery if we need to. Okay. Alright, Thirst for Discovery. We'll discard a land so we can keep... Alright. Go ahead. Play another island. Let's play our excavator. Still holding up all of our counter spells. Pass the turn. Our opponent's playing very slow. Okay. No blocks here. I'm okay taking the one. And the opponent does nothing again. Go ahead and play land. Let's play, play Bruvok. Mill the opponent. We're still holding up three mana. We can use this to protect the Bruvok. Okay. End turn. And nothing to worry about there. We still have multiple counter spells available to us. Okay. Yeah, no blocks. Down to 21. Okay. Moving back to my turn. Let's play Jace. This will mill for four. I'm always a step ahead. Mill for another four draw card. It's a matter of Leave up three mana so we can hold a counter spell. End the turn. They should have spells that they're able to cast. Alright, there's the Herb Rask. We're gonna go ahead and cast Tail's End here. This is gonna leave up Miscast, which we can protect Bruvok with. I will block to protect the Jace here. Alright, let's keep our creature. This is fine, we lose the creature, but Jace takes no damage. Alright, let's start by scrying. Absorb energy is going to be pretty good for us. Mill, draw a card. Alright, we don't really care about the flashback there. Let's play a land. Pass the turn. We've got multiple counter spells. Okay. 
Backlash. And we've got it. So, as we saw, Bruvok is a pretty fun deck to play. He's got plenty of counter magic to protect him. He also has a lot of different ways to reach that combo win, which can kind of end the game immediately on the spot, no matter what the board state is. That's really good for being able to top deck into an answer to what seems like a horrible board state. I would be careful when looking at early hands to make sure that you kind of don't get stuck on doing nothing. It's also possible for you to have a lot of small sources of mill but still lose to your opponent who can overwhelm you. So you definitely want to manage the board state. Your life is a resource, it doesn't matter how low you get, you'll always be able to close the game in one turn if you have enough mana. But yeah, I hope you are able to enjoy! That being said, if you have any ideas for a new deck that you'd like to see me play, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment below? And aside from that, make sure you like and subscribe. What? What's this? Looks like we've got a whole bunch of advisors. Go ahead and keep this hand playing into Atali. This is a bonus game! Start with a wizard's class! Notably, Bruvok is a human advisor, and one of the other fun things that we could do with him is play a whole bunch of advisors. This is an advisor tribal deck. Let's go ahead and start with our first petitioner. Persistent petitioners let you tap for one mana and have target player mill a card. Um, we can also tap four untapped advisors we control and target player mills 12 cards. This is insane with Bruvok. Let's go ahead and play Hercule here. No attacks. Herkel, also an advisor. Next turn, we'll be able to play two more advisors. Our opponent's out here just ramping. All right. We're not going to really care about countering their spells. And then here we go. Let's tap four untapped advisors. Twelve cards. Opponent down at 76. Next turn we'll be able to play Bruvok. Mill for 24. Opponent plays a tap land, Scries. Keeps it on top, so it must not be a good card. Okay. Plays out a Clothis. Alright, this is looking really good for us. Let's play the Bruvok. Play another Advisor. We're gonna end the turn here. We'll be able to hold up a blocker before we tap all of our Advisors. Alright, picking between mana and damage. Exiles a Ragavan from their graveyard. Okay, plays a treasure map. Makes a treasure token. They're getting ready to cast a tally. Fun thing about that is their tally is most likely going to hit an advisor. Target player. That's 24 cards. All right. We're gonna level up the wizard class. Draw some more cards. Alright. Go ahead, pass the turn here. We can actually activate one of our advisor to mill some additional cards. Okay, here comes the tally. We're gonna watch them hit an advisor. Choose to give it haste. Yep, there's their advisor.
a move to combat. We're not going to block here. Go ahead, play one. Have them mill two. Then we'll tap four. That's another 24. They're down to 23. This is going to be their last turn. Alright. Choose our opponent. One, two, three, four. And we've got it! Now this deck is really funny and super easy to build. We've got a couple of 1-mana cards, so Wizard Class, like you saw, to help us draw some cards. We've got a Glistening Seer, because they're also an advisor, running a Ruin Crab and Wash Away as all of our 1-mana spells. From there, we're running a 1-of copy of Sensor. We have uh, Jacob as another advisor. Ledger Shredder, who's also an advisor. We're running Madden and Cacophony, just so we have that combo win potential. Then we're also running a Memory Lapse and Negate and Counterspell as some of our Counter Magic Suite. We're running an Arcane Signet, 40 of the Petitioners. Then we have Din Say Please, Herkel, who's also an advisor. One copy of Tasha's, Thought Collapse for a Mill Counterspell, Archmage's Charm, still have the Realm Breaker, we have the Jace. And then a bunch of lands in Ottawar. This is a very cheap and fun deck to play if you're just looking to play Bruvok without spending all the wild cards. Of course, you can replace any of these cards that you don't have with another copy of Persistent Petitioners, and it'll pretty much pan out the same way. I hope you guys all have a good one.